Chapter 5, The Speculation. Now, we are heading into Universal Studios Horror Nights in the year 2014, man. 2014. Can you believe that? 2014. We've, we've made it this far. Approaching 2014, this was a new thing for us. You know, me, my dad, my cousin, we were all into this every single year. I think my dad was into it because he had to drive us every year, but he knew we were going to be going back. And this was honestly a really solid year for the event. 2014 was probably our favorite event, one of our favorite um, years thus far. Just step inside and fun begins. Um, and they had a lot of great properties and we were, we were doing the same thing. We were, we were watching and, and, and studying all of the movies and TV shows that were going to be involved this year. A lot of great properties that were going to be involved this year. Uh, the walking dead making its return and also the purge making its return to Halloween Horror Nights this year. But let, let's break down a little bit of what went down. So we, we, you know, obviously uh, that year, my cousin and I started getting more into the speculation game at that point. We were following Murdy. We were getting all the codes. We were, you know, breaking down stuff as we as we best can. And we were, you know, just obsessed with rewatching old walkthroughs and whatnot to get us excited every single year. And we, were, we started speculating on our own. Like, what, what, what do you think can come? Like, what's big right now? Like, what, 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 what could possibly get over there? Um, and it was a fun time. I remember that was the first time I actually actually really started to speculate things and that was that was a lot of fun so we had a lot of, to cover uh let's start with the mazes an american werewolf in london that maze was one of the greatest mazes i ever been through at halloween horror nights in hollywood and that's because that's a great film i remember that was the year i actually first watched the film and i was very uh very impressed with what i saw they they brought the slaughtered lamb to life and um they ended up uh, recreating the, the whole film in, in five minutes. That was in the Jurassic Park queue. A very good spot for it as well. Um, but I remember just going through and just seeing some of the werewolf things and some of the most iconic scenes of that film. Um, from the, the, the pig shootout to him waking up like possessed. And then obviously him terrorizing London at the end, which was really cool. So, so to kind of see this whole movie go from start to finish in five minutes, was, was it always trips me out and it's really cool. Uh, we got the 747 area back again, but I think this, no, this wouldn't be the last year, but this was another year of the 747 area. That was really a, a far um, soundstage. It was a little bit more out towards the back lot, but it was a good little walk. But Alien versus Predator came, and, you know, me, my dad, and my cousin were huge fans of both Alien and Predator. To see this maze come was a lot of fun. Um, and... You know, we had a great time going through this one. I remember, uh, you know, the, being a fan of this film, to see a lot of the iconic um, scenes from Alien vs. Predator, to see Alien vs. Predator in real life, uh, it was amazing. I think the one thing that scared me most, and scares me to this day because they're just creepy, was the face huggers. Um, but I remember just trying my best to hold, keep my cool going through there and, and to really see what was going down and whatnot this this was a fun maze the ending was really cool they had the giant uh queen alien and at the end it was uh alien versus predator one last face off which was really cool this would be the first year slash would 
make his debut at Halloween Horror Nights in his own original maze, Clowns 3D, which was in the Mummy queue. Entrance was facing the Mummy uh, line queue. So that was a lot of fun. That was that was really cool to finally see something, an, an, another original for one, but an, an original with, with music by Slash, or all original music. Um, and, and this was really cool uh, to see this. It was based around like the this like ice cream shop these clowns owned, but it was very sadistic as you went more and more in um, to see that. And it was a 3D maze. So 3D mazes were still popular in 14 3d mazes i think ended up going until about 2015 maybe this might have been the last year but who knows i i just remember going through that enjoying the music i still listen to the music to this day uh slash does a great job with these scores and this wouldn't be the last we would see of slash he would be making his return in a few years he just didn't know it yet <laughs> Dracula Untold Reign of Blood Parisian Courtyard. That was a fun uh, maze. Uh, that movie is very underrated in my opinion. So going through that and seeing the film was really cool. It was a very dark maze as far as like not just like lighting or anything, but just the aesthetic of the film and whatnot is very dark. And the maze really translated well with that. Um, they did a really good job. This was in the Parisian Courtyard. So this was the second year we got to use it. And they used to kind of do Parisian Courtyard mazes a little different back then. But I'm glad to see how they have a system down now. And and to see what they do and how they do it and, and everything is really cool. But this maze was such a good maze uh, from start to finish. You got to see all the the, uh, the untold story of Dracula. This was Universal's attempt of kind of rebooting that character again. So to see a Universal monster in a way represented at the event was really cool. Face Off in the Flesh took over the House of Horrors. And Face Off, if you guys don't remember that show on Sci-Fi, it was a popular makeup show uh, where the winner would always get, like I think, like a, a scholarship and some cash money and whatnot to uh, some top tier makeup schools. Uh, and they teamed up with Halloween Horror Nights. They brought some of the most uh, epic designs of the show and they brought them over to Halloween Horror Nights. They had makeup artists work on masks and whatnot and actual makeup um, pieces for this uh, maze. And I remember this was another maze that had some techno music in it, which was really cool. Um, and me and my cousin just really digging the vibe of it. And, and to kind of see all these other uh, iconic monsters that you've seen on the show face off, it's, it's really cool. I I really do miss that show. I wish they would bring it back or do a another like series of it, like a spin-off series of it, but you know, nothing lasts forever, right? But I did enjoy that maze. That was a lot of fun. Um from dust till dawn. Oh, this this was the first year I think we went through everything. Yep, this was the first year we went through everything. Uh from dust till dawn, that was in the Metro set area right behind the giant wall. Um, where usually where creep show was or yeah, where that was the last maze that was there where, where creep show was um, in 2019 That was fun. That was based off the TV series that uh, they did for the Al Ray network um, And that was a lot of fun to see that come to life just to see that property in general come to life was really cool uh, To walk through the mind temple of, of, of the titty twister and to see all that was really cool to see like the kind of snake looks They had for the, some of the girls was really cool um, and, and to see the the um, I believe they were the Gecko Brothers uh, fight off w this whole army of vampires. It was really cool. And they, the, the people they had casted as the Gecko Brothers looked exactly like them from the show. Um, obviously, the Gecko Brothers that I know and love are uh, Quentin Tarantino and George Clooney. But the guys on the show did a, a really good job honoring those roles. So that was really cool to see this maze overall. And the last um, and third maze, this was the first year we got three mazes in the Metro sets, was The Walking Dead End of the Line, which was really good. Another um, continuation for season four of The Walking Dead um, post uh, prison attack from the governor. And that was a lot of fun to see, like the prison on fire and whatnot. That was that was really cool. So that was good. Terra Tram invaded by The Walking Dead again and kind of the same old stuff. The Walking Dead was there for some time, kind of left a, a stamp. That's why I've, I've only seen a handful of, of themes. I can count with my, my one hand uh, for the the terror tram but um, yeah that was fun that was a little that was that was a lot of fun and to see that back was really good scare zones we had dark Christmas which really gave the inspiration for uh, Murdy to really want to push to do that Krampus maze in 2016 he said they had accomplished uh, doing Krampus in the past and he always thought Christmas and Halloween mixed really well together uh, something about making Christmas scary on Halloween is is terrifying and I really agreed. So that was really cool. Masquerade well, on French Street. That was like, um, it was kind of like you're obviously your ball and stuff like that. But there was a lot of like creepy designs and whatnot. That was that was really cool to see that. And the Purge Anarchy came this year. 
that was fun. Uh, that was one of my favorite Purge movies. So to see a lot of the costumes and designs from Purge Anarchy was really cool. That was in the front gates. Uh, Purge was starting its role to stay there for a while, too, to take its vacancy. Uh, Skulls was on the lower lot, so that was uh, we still had lower lot. And we had Walking Dead, Welcome to Terminus in the Metro lot. So that was a lot of fun. That really... Uh, that year was good. Uh, Bill and Ted's was there. I think that was Bill and Ted's last year. I know I keep saying that, but <laughs> I think that was Bill and Ted's last year. Uh, but, oh, wait, no. Bill and Ted was not there, sadly. I'm sorry. that My mistake. Bill and Ted was not there. So 2014 was its last year. Rest in peace, Bill and Ted. But all in all, the speculation year, that was fun for us because we really got to try to speculate what we thought was coming to the event. And I remember we just had a fun time doing it. And because of things like this it, it really motivated me to want to keep coming back every single year and of course we did we did we did and it kept getting better and better but that that story is for another time until then i'll see you guys next week for another episode of nights of origins